Hey folks, thanks for joining me. I've got the power transformer for the Xena 5S127 taken apart. You can see I've got the housing soaking in some citric acid to get rid of the rust and uh, remove the old flaky uh, paint as well. You can see I've got a couple rubber grommets placed on here. In the uh, picture in picture, you can see I actually expanded the diameter of the uh, holes for the wire lead outs. Uh, it's a little tight even getting this thing out. So I just created a little bit more room here and I'll put some heat shrink on the uh, lead outs as well um, in the areas before just to make sure I don't have anything uh, compromised there. Anyway, the purpose of this video again is to demonstrate a technique using the LCR45 to calculate the turns ratio. For the uh, power transformer, again, looking at the leakage inductance method for doing so. So I've got the meter hooked up across the entire high voltage winding. We'll flip it on by default. I have it set to 1 kilohertz in inductance mode. But to get the actual leakage inductance for the transformer, I need to short the primary side. So that's just got a small jumper here, but I'll do that. And you can see that gives me about 1,849 ohms. So we'll plug that into the calculator. You can see I'm using the square root of 1,849. We'll divide that now by the leakage inductance of the uh, primary itself. So same drill here. I'm going to go back to the primary side. I'm going to uh, short out the entire high voltage winding here in 65.32. And you can see that gives me a turns ratio of about 5.32. So back in the day, if you look back at some specs for this transformer, this radio, about 112 volts AC was the line input voltage. I can simply take the uh, 5.32 and times 112, and that gives me 596 turns, roughly, is what would be in the transformer for the primary winding. So we can take the uh, 596 and multiply that again by the turns ratio of the 5.3 and some change and you see that pushes us up to about 3170 turns in total for the high voltage secondary. Divide that by two for each half because again this is a full wave rectifier circuit so the center tap location is here so half of that number roughly puts it around 1,585 turns for each section of the uh, high voltage winding. Uh, we can take that same number and extrapolate everything for the 6.3. You can see I can take the uh, turns ratio of the 5.3 volts plugged into the calculator here. We'll use an overhead of around 6.7 volts, knowing there's going to be a voltage drop. And you can see that comes back to about 36 turns. And then uh, the same for the 5 volt winding. I can take the uh, 5.3 and some change. Multiply that again, a little bit of an overhead, let's say 5.25 volts, and it comes out roughly to uh, 28 turns. This is what we would have for the uh, 5 volt winding. So um, hope you found that helpful. Again, just another way to uh, leverage the LCR 45 meter for a basic check of the uh, power transformer. And I've matched this up again using the uh, Variac and it's extremely close. Appreciate you guys watching. Everyone out there, uh, take care and again, stay well.